let's let's look at this from a slightly different angle. Imagine I've given you I give you the b coefficients. So let's say let's say I said b zero equals one, um, b one equals three, and I don't know. We'll say b, b well b two equal to zero, and we'll say b three equals minus 0 0.5. Okay. And let's also imagine then that a0 is equal to 1, which is nearly always is. Um, I'll use commas actually, they're better. Yeah. Um, a0 is equal to 1. Let's imagine that a1 is equal to 0 and a2 is equal to minus 0 0.5. Put minus in there, so minus 0 0.5. Now I can describe my system using just b and a coefficients. In before this, before introducing the general form, uh, we'd have to write out the difference equation. Now, we can of course, once we have these b and a coefficients, we can write out the difference equation. So let's write out the difference equation for associated with these b and a coefficients. So I'd say that y of n is equal to b0 of x of n, so b0 is 1, so that's x of n, plus um, 3 times x of n minus 1, that's my b1 term, and comparing it with my general form of my difference equation, plus 0 times x of n minus 1, or sorry, plus 0 times x of n minus 2, which of course is 0, so I'm just going to, don't need to include that one, plus, well actually it's a minus, minus 0 0.5 times x of n minus 3. And what else do we have then? We have a0 is, that's sorted, we would have a1 coefficient, um, that's equal to 0, so we could put in minus a1, which is here, so minus, minus 0 times y of n minus 1, could put that in, but there's absolutely no point. Uh, but we could put in this next one, so it's minus, minus 0 0.5, so that'll be plus, 0 0.5 by y of n minus 2. So if we're given b and a coefficients like this, well we can write out the difference equation. Because the b and a coefficients will describe any difference equation. Okay, All difference equations are, are in this form, uh, or can be written in this form, and once you're given the b and a coefficients you have fully described the system. So just Giving these coefficients is a nice convenient way of describing a system, so it's very concise, which is useful in its own, in its own right. But there is another benefit to describing a system this way. Um, and one of the benefits is that there are lots of functions already built in MATLAB and C and any other programming language that would, would manipulate discrete signals. There are lots of functions already built that just rely on B and A descriptions of um, B and A descriptions of systems. So we don't have to give the difference equation. We can just provide it with B and A coefficients. Um, now, just before we get, I'm going to give a MATLAB demo of what I mean now. But before we do that, in MATLAB terms, we would write out. We'd say B is equal to, and we'd say B is equal to one space 3 uh, 0 minus 0 0.5 so we'd write the b coefficient uh, b coefficients as a vector of of values likewise the a coefficients would be written as 1 um, 0 and uh, minus 0 0.5 so that would be how MATLAB would would how we sorry that would be how we would write out the coefficients in MATLAB. We we would write them like that. Um, so let's go into MATLAB and show you why or how that can be of use. Let's just clear that first. And let's um, write out our b coefficients b is equal to, and let's just switch back, 
Our B coefficients are 1, 3, 0 and minus 0 0.5. So 1, 3, minus 1, 3, 0 and minus 0 0.5. They're the B coefficients of our system, and our A coefficients are 1, let's switch back again, uh, 1, 0, and minus 0.5. 1, 0, and minus 0.5. Okay, um, so those coefficients would fully describe a system. Um, now, MATLAB has built in functions that just use B and A coefficients, and one example is we can determine the output of a system, Y by saying it's equal to filter, which is a, a, a function that takes b and a coefficients as input and also some input sequence of numbers. So we'll just put an input sequence of numbers here as being 2, 3, 3, 4 and 6. Okay. So we're just giving three numbers as its input. Now the filter function only ret should only return three values as its output. But basically what this is doing is determining three values of the um, uh, uh, three output values of a discrete system described by this these set of coefficients which and the set of coefficients of course are associated with um, uh, a difference equation um, and the reason it worked out three is because I just gave it three values as input if I gave more values to the input the filter function would work out more values for the output okay um, but a lot of MATLAB functions um, just use B and A coefficients as their parameters, input parameters. So there's another one, for example, called freak Z that is very commonly used. And if you give it the B and A coefficients, it determines what's known as the frequency response of a system. Now, you won't know anything really about frequency response unless you've studied something like this before but uh, it's a very common thing to need to work out so, but MATLAB is a built-in function that does calculate the frequency response and all we have to do is supply the B and A coefficients associated with the system so when I hit return you should see a plot of what's known as the frequency response of a system okay so there's the frequency response won't mean anything to you at the moment but believe me by the end of the series you well <laughs> I would hope that you would have a, a good understanding or be able to interpret what this all means okay um, I think that's basically it that's all I really wanted to cover with um, the general form of a difference equation uh, very convenient and it's very important that you spend a bit of time getting used to the expression and also how it relates to any discrete system okay thank you for your attention I'll see you in the next presentation